Well, 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 we say welcome again to another edition of our videos on Benjamin Academics Bati on YouTube, Benjamin Academics Bati on Twitter, Benjamin Academics Bati on um, Instagram, Benjamin Academics Bati on TikTok, and Benjamin Academics on Facebook. Today we are going to be putting up a video on where on national income. It is a question a student sent to me last night. I decided to put up a video today so that I can help others, not only the student, in carrying out a calculation. You know, calculation sometimes is the most difficult part in national income where students run away. Many students run away from national income not because it is difficult, but it is because it is a calculation part. Remember, when you miss out a figure during the calculation period, you have missed everything in as much as that question is concerned. So today we're going to be looking at national income calculation for this video. Now, in the question that was sent proper, they said the following table shows the national income data for a imaginary economy for a given year. Remember, all national incomes are being calculated in terms of year. Maybe it can be for one year, maybe yeah. So it's always calculated in terms of years, not in terms of months. And they say all the figures are in franc, in million francs CFE. That means everything here is in million. 600 million, um, 1,021 million. So yeah, so everything is in million francs CFE. Now let us look at what was given us in the table. They say agriculture and extraction of and extraction industry. They talk about manufacturing and construction. They talk about transport communication and um, they also talk about um, utility, they talk about insurance, finance, banking and other services, they talk about health, education and administrative, they talk about ownership of dwellings, they talk about adjustment for financial service, they also talk about residual errors, they talk about net property income from abroad and they talk about depreciation. Now in the question proper we ask, is it calculated the gross domestic product award at factor cost? That was one of the questions that was laid before us. Calculate the gross domestic product at factor cost. For B part, they say calculate the gross national product at factor cost. And then the last part of the question, they say net national product. Now, for us to get the um, to calculate the gross domestic product at factor cost, our um, formula has been stated here clearly: the sum of what output of dwellings plus or minus the residual errors minus what the adjustment for what for financial year. Now, getting that. For um to the formula the, the figures that are under the sum of output of dwellings, we are going to get first agriculture, the product for agriculture, where it is um six hundred. We add it with um that for manufacturing, which is one thousand two hundred, one thousand one hundred, um that is twenty one thousand, sorry. And then we have transport, which is twelve thousand plus transport, twelve thousand, um plus um um, utilities, um, which is 2400 and we also have um, insurance. Insurance there is 15000 so we put plus, plus 15000 plus 15000 And then there's other one for um, health education, there is um, 11000 plus 11000 plus 11000 mm -hmm. And then the last part is ownership of dwellings. Plus one, plus four thousand three hundred, plus four thousand three hundred. That was for for the sum of what of output of dwellings. Now they say plus or minus what residual error. Now what our residual error there it is eight hundred. So we say um, plus since as it is plus or minus the plus comes in and the minus goes out. So plus or minus so plus eight hundred and then um, they say um, as the last part they say adjustment for what for financial. Savings. So minus it from the adjustment for financial savings. Minus the adjustment for financial savings there is minus 500. So we minus it from 500. Let's look. Let's use our calculator and um, punch it. When we are going to punch that, it's going to give us if you sum this plus 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 this, and you subtract it from here, it's going to give you um, it's going to give you a sum of um. Um, 66,600 francs. Um, the figures are in million francs CFA. So, this is what it's going to give you 66,600 when you sum up all of this. Now, in the next part of the question, they say we should calculate. They say calculate what the gross domestic, the gross national product as well at factor cost. Calculating the gross national product at factor cost. 
you have to take what the gross um gross domestic product at factor cost um minus what minus the net property um plus the net property income from abroad so calculating the gross the gross national product at factor cost you are summing you are you are summing what you got from what from the gross from the gross domestic product at factor cost plus what plus what the national and um, the net property income from abroad so we'll take now this which will give us um which is um six 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 um six hundred million plus one thousand three hundred when we add this two which will give you six 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 zero zero plus one thousand three hundred it's going to give us um a total sum of six seven nine zero zero a bracket a million francs cft so that's what six seven nine zero zero in million francs cft so that is um calculating what the gross the um, gross national product at factor cost so calculating the gross national product at factor cost you subtract you add um the gross domestic product the gross domestic product a factor cost plus what the net property income from abroad. So when you add those two, it's going to give you a total sum of sixty-seven thousand nine hundred a million francs CFA. So now the last part of it of the question is so to calculate what the net national product. The net national product now you have to calculate what we did the precession. So when you the, the the answer you got from here, you have to remove out the precession. You know the precession is always removed out; it's not added. So in that you do what you are going to um, take now. Um, that is calculating the net um, net national income. So the net national income that you take six seven um, nine zero zero. You subtract it from what from the depreciation. What do we have as depreciation? We have as depreciation of eight thousand. That means uh, maybe the the contract depreciation. So you you now subtract it from eight thousand. And when you subtract it from eight thousand. It's going to give you a total of um, 599,000. Um, so, in, in, in terms of million francs CFA. So, that was that. Well, Jeff, you want to say thank you very much for watching this video on Benjamin Academy's Bate. We have tried to explain to you how to calculate what. Um, calculate the gross domestic product at factor cost, the gross national product at factor cost, and to calculate what the net national income. We're hoping to see you in our next video. Do not forget to like our page on Facebook. Do not forget to like our channel on our videos. Do not forget to comment for us to think, for us to see what you think about the video. Do not forget to subscribe most especially to get notifications each time there's a video. We're hoping to see you. Bye bye.